So it has been a minute since I have actually made a new video. The main reason uh, would be that I was home for winter break and it was so cold that I didn't really have a chance to film much. Um, and then once I got back to school, it's also been cold, but not only that, I've been busy with classes and then I actually am getting over the flu, which you might be able to tell my voice kind of sounds weird. Today, I'm feeling a lot better. Um, I left my apartment for the first time in like four days last night to get some food, so today I'm feeling better. It's actually super nice outside today in Nashville. It's about 65 degrees, so <clears throat> I figured I'd go out and take advantage of the day. Uh, right now I'm headed to my friend Christian's house. You've seen him in the videos before. He helped me with the paint correction on my Mustang, which we're going to talk about here in a little bit. But uh, yeah, I'm headed over there right now. Uh, we're probably just gonna hang out, watch some cars. I have my drone with me, so maybe I'll go out and get some drone footage for you guys later. So I guess while I'm sitting at this light, I'll give you guys a quick update on the Mustang situation. So, uh, got some news last week, I think, maybe two weeks ago now. Not what I wanted to hear, but it's also not bad news. So the dealerships agreed to fix pretty much everything that I had a problem with. Uh, so, from what it sounds like, I'm gonna end up getting the car back, which is not what I wanted to hear at all, but, you know, if I get it back and it's working how it should have been working when I got it, then I really won't have any room to complain and it'll be fun and I can start making videos on it again. If I get it back in worse condition, they told me to tell them and then they're gonna keep fixing stuff. So, so if you can't tell, I'm in the Pathfinder right now. So nothing's new there. Uh, one thing I did wanna talk about in this video was actually YouTube's recent change on monetization for smaller channels. So, pretty much if you haven't heard about it, which you probably have, the change is that in order to be able to monetize your videos, you have to have over 4,000 watch hours in the last 12 months, and you have to have 1,000 subscribers. So, for me, that's not the best news I've heard because even though I don't make a lot off of YouTube, you know, it's still something every once in a while, which is nice. Um, but really, it sucks because I'm gonna be losing other benefits that uh, really help with, you know, just running a small channel like scheduling videos and having a custom URL and being able to look at analytics and certain things like that. I was told I might have some misinformation on it and that I might not lose certain things like that, but from what I've heard from certain people, it sounds like it's gonna kinda suck. But uh, for me personally, I'm about, I think 350 subscribers short of that 1,000 subscriber mark. But I've seen a lot of growth lately, which is awesome, so thank you to everybody that subscribed recently. Um, there's certainly gonna be more videos coming soon that, uh, That'll be fun. But, um, you know, overall, for me, I don't have a thousand subscribers, but I have 5,500 hours of watch time in the last 12 months, which is more than enough. Um, it's not a lot by any means, but for a small channel, that's pretty good. So, it kind of sucks that I have one, but I don't have the other. Um, but, you know, I have about 30 days to gain that 350 subscribers, so I figure if I crank out videos, you know, it's possible. So I'm not ruling anything out, but, uh, uh, I mean, overall, it sucks for smaller creators, but at the same time, it's a respectable decision on YouTube's part because they can't just be paying anybody to monetize their videos. And with the recent stuff from, you know, Logan Paul and that whole thing, there's just not as much advertiser space that they're willing to give up, and it's kind of making this whole adpocalypse thing a little bit worse, so, you know, it's an understandable thing that they're doing, but it just kind of sucks. Also, I don't think I finished talking about the Mustang, but uh, anyways, so with the Mustang, I will be getting it back, uh, is what it sounds like, unless they just keep finding issues and they're going to have to keep shoveling out money, and from what it sounds like, that's probably what's going to happen, because their first round of repairs, they were fixing stuff that they thought was wrong with it, and like, they didn't think the differential was wrong, but now they realize that I was right about that, I'm sure, so, you know. Just a big list of things they're going to have to fix, which kind of sucks for them. But for me, that's a good thing, because drivetrain related, I'm pretty much going to be getting a new car. So that's nice. But I'm excited to see how it runs and stuff whenever I get it back. Uh, hopefully, it'll be good. I have a tune that I'm going to throw on it with the Lund Racing Engage, so that'll be a fun video to make. And then, you know, I'm going to be doing some other stuff with it. So I have big plans for it as long as everything works out. But, um, you know, there's still that hope that I could get my money back and I've got my eye on some other cool cars that would be fun for the channel. So that's good, but uh, other than that, that's like all the updates, so I'll pretty much just pick up the camera when I get to Christian's house. Yeah, my 
my car doesn't exactly fit the neighborhood. But here we are. Also, just a good slap in the face. Just a clean S550. I don't know why it's not focusing. Did it focus? Okay, I think it focused. Anyways, yeah, my car doesn't really fit the neighborhood, and one of the neighbors was definitely giving me a weird look whenever I was pulling in here, so... Yeah. Pathfinder's a little dirty. We're gonna hopefully clean it up. I don't know. Come on. There we go. So, yeah. Um, I'm gonna walk into uh, Christian's house now and hope that I don't get shot. Oh, the door's open. Howdy. Guessing you're gonna ride with him because my car's compared to the vet. Yep. I'm about to go get this fitment on this Mustang. Alright, so I guess the plan is I'm gonna grab my drone and I'm gonna ride with Christian. And then me, Christian, and Joe are gonna go get some pictures. Um, but I wanted to check out this uh, Mustang's DO fitment. Windshield tint. Yeah, that's like perfect. Nice. Ooh, Joe. Should I hit him with a business card? Oh yes, I never get the opportunity to put these on cars. He's probably gonna think I'm doing something bad to his car, but I actually saw a Subaru drifting around the snow the other day, and I gave one card to him, so if you're watching this video, shout out to you. But uh, yeah, these guys are playing basketball right now, so hopefully they don't see me do this, but. That's horsepower, pro charge. Yeah, we're about to head out to Nacho's Trace and get some pictures, so. Yeah, if you wanna follow, feel free, yeah, but hey, we'll be thanks for letting tell, man. Yeah, sweet. no problem. Completely broke his neck looking at the car. Oh, that's nice. Every time I see something cool, I miss it pretty much every time, and it sucks. Gotta say hi to Joe. Normally, I'm the one following, so this is a good, it's a good change. Yeah, nice change. That cop that we just saw is right there now, waiting for any excuse. How many times have you been pulled over? Uh, I think I'm on nine or ten. Nice. Only one ticket though. That's pretty good. I know, right? Not bad. Great. Okay. All right. It's so loud. Yes, it is. Quality of that microphone just gonna be 100 percent air. Yeah, it's. Yeah, sorry about the audio. I didn't even think about that. It's gonna be awful. This mic's already been messing up, so I'm sure. Just like a scary movie. Oh, what's in? Alright, I'm gonna wait in the car. But. Anyways, quick rundown on this car for those that don't know. It's like a thousand horsepower. What's the wheel horsepower on this? Uh, 950 wheel horsepower. So we'll just say a thousand. Um, yeah, pro-charged, meth, what else? Uh, I mean, cam, heads, full belt, everything. Yeah, pretty much everything. So, Street Speed 717, take notes. This is how it's done. Um, that would be, that would be a fun video. We should do that. Yeah.
Z06 for Z06, call him out. Yo, Street Speed, if you got any balls, come down to Nashville, come on. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Street Speed 717, you've been called out through us for Christian. So, if you're trying to get dragged in any event, let us know. Hell, have you seen his last video? It looks like it's down on horsepower despite the build, so we can just bring the Jeep out and still roast his Yeah, true, the Jeep would probably beat his Corvette. So, take your pick, Street Speed 717. Uh, who do you want to get beat by? A Z06, well, I guess it be the same person. Do you want to get beat by a Z06 or an SRT8 Jeep? Let us know. Or should, we should call it Evan Shanks, too, with his yeah. SRT8 Jeep. Yeah, while we're at Evan it. Shanks, we're calling you out as well. I always roast Joe for having tissues in his car, but he's coming in clutch right now because I need tissues. Is there a trash? Oh, there is a trash can. Let's go. Eat again. I had to roast it out of Christian's driveway out of oh. the neighborhood. Oh, the exposure's been all wrong. That's okay, though. I don't know why I still have that set down. I can, I could breathe for like three seconds there. Like I said, I just got over being sick. So here's a good outside view of the car. I didn't have it. Ripperino. Oh my goodness. Oh dude, this Charlie horse is getting worse. I love a clean dirty E36. That thing's nice. Shout out to Ethan if you're watching this. He shouldn't have traded your M3. While I'm thinking about it, I don't know if you can hear me, but if you're new, a new subscriber, I need video ideas. So drop some video ideas for me because starting to run out. I want to do more review stuff, but the weather's kind of a limiting factor right now. It's going to be nicer this week, so I'll try to get something done this week, but I need some more ideas, so let me know. Pretty sure that shot went out of, uh, like it was overexposed, or underexposed, but uh, there are a bunch of cops on the highway, probably an accident, because no one in Nashville knows how to drive. All right, we're going to get out real quick. I'm gonna take some pictures. Pull up over there next to me. And, uh, uh, uh. Hopefully, no train comes by. Yeah. Alright. Like I said, I'm gonna take some pictures real quick in this spot. Fiesta ST. Um. But yeah, I'm gonna take some quick pictures of the car. These are gonna look good. I'll probably overlay some in the video, by the way. Hopefully, some of those pictures will, uh. Oh! Hopefully some of those pictures will turn out, but... Would you spot a bumper? How do you just leave that here? I don't know, why is it on the train track? That's a really good question. I wonder what kind of car that goes to. Leave your comments down below. Tell us what car this goes to. Can't get over how nice it is today. Right, Christian's gonna be starting a channel soon. Oh, oh, oh hey, we got there. A fire extinguisher for the race car, dude. Christian's gonna be starting a channel soon, so if you wanna check that out. I don't know if he'll start it anytime soon, but if he does, I will leave. A link in the description, but I'm gonna take a few more pictures of the car because this lighting is dope. So, <coughs> uh. oh hey, that'll be the thumbnail. While Christian's relieving himself, actually, I have no idea what I, I was gonna say there. I, I have no plans. Did he leave the key? No, he didn't leave the key. He did leave his drone though. Trying to fly this thing? Wow, that's a big case. Compared to mine. Well, where'd mine go? It's just a little guy. Oh, it's all the way under the roof back. <sighs> uh. One eternity later. I got it. Okay. Thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> I love waving at people to get so confused. Yes sir. Yes sir. Pop the hood. It pop the hood. Pop the hood. Pop the hood. Yes sir. All right. So what we got here? See, it's about to get too loud because this train. But uh, what you got here is a Pro Charge Z06. But what you really need to do is Coyote swap it. Keep it naturally aspirated if you want some real horsepower. Yes sir. Coyote swap. Yes. Yeah. You heard it here first. Yes sir. I can't hear you. That's okay. That doesn't matter. Do it. Yeah, so what we did is we uh, we LS1 swapped it. And yeah, there then, you go. Uh, 
And then we put an F1A front charger in it. It's not the X, so the X pussies. First, first what you do, <laughs> you buy a third gen donor car. Yeah. You take all the guts from that and swap it into one of these. And then you got some horsepower. Yes, sir, Merrick. To the next spot. Then we're going to eat at some point. still there. Probably can't see me very well, and for that reason I'm going to end the video here. So, if you're new, please subscribe. Please, I'm begging you. Please. Um, please. Yeah, please. please. Uh, if you're not new, thanks for watching again. I appreciate you subscribing. I'll have more videos coming out soon, so stay tuned for that. And uh, other than that, I guess that'll do it. I'll see you guys in the next one.